this media maker I'm going to show you uh, something I'm trying to make I don't know if it'll work but uh, I just want to do a test version of an earth box or a global bucket whatever you want to call it uh, I'm sure you've seen them online the plan I have here is a tomato and if you're familiar with the earth bucket uh, you'll notice there's an inside piece and the outer housing the inside piece has holes drilled in it and then it has a feeder tube and it has an overflow hole. Um, basically, I was trying to look for a way to do this on the cheap just to try it out because I've never had an earth bucket. And I figured I'm starting some plants, so why not try it with the tomato? Tomato will probably outgrow, but you know, if it works, that's all I'm interested in right now. As you can tell, I filled it to the fill hole and up to the bottom of the fill hole because that's what tells you when you've overfilled uh, when it gets up to this level that's when it's full and then it will wick up I've got a series of holes in this inner piece which is actually the top of the two liter bottle and I'll just a moment I'll show you what the rest of it looks like and what the individual pieces are okay you're gonna start off with a bottle like this I don't have the cap on it right now but uh, I had that off because I'm drying this bottle out and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to, there's a little line here, I don't know if you can make it out. Here's the bottom of the label. There's a little indentation. All the two liters seem to have them. And what you're going to do is you can take an eighth inch drill and about right there, about right at the edge of that label, you'll drill an eighth inch hole. And then later when you get the label off, you can just go ahead and take a quarter inch and drill, drill your hole bigger. So the bottom of your hole that you drill is right at that edge line. The top, before you take the bottle apart, you're going to drill a series of holes in it, and down to about right there. Uh, you can come down maybe a little bit further, but try to keep it right about there, about uh, maybe half inch, maybe a little more above the sticker line. And you're just going to drill a series of holes, eighth inch holes, all the way around, including up and around the neck. And then on the top of the lid here, you're going to drill about five or six more holes. So on the top, when you look at it, it's going to have five or six more holes. Okay, so when you get done, you're going to end up with a basically a hole here and a series of holes at the top here and one very big hole. And that's going to be for your feeder tube over here. And you're going to have a series of holes up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to go in. So when you cut this at the label line, that's how big this is going to be, but you'll notice it doesn't fit all the way in. And to push it down in is going to be very difficult at best. And it may kink or bind, bend in, make a hole, let the dirt go down. So what I decided to do was just to go ahead and make a little line right where it meets. And I trace it out with a Sharpie marker all the way around. I don't have it in there perfect right now, but that's fine. And you'll have about that much difference. Trace that out. I used a piece of tape on all four sides and did the sharpie where the tape was and then I pulled the tape off one at a time, did the sharpie marker and then when I had all the tape out I pulled it out. So I already had all my holes drilled from when the bottle was all together because it's way easier to do when you just can hold the whole thing. So you got all these little holes here, you got your little line, so what I did is I cut a series of little slices here, uh, kind of like something to do like if you see furnace duct work or anything like that and what that will let it do is push on down. It just squishes them on down and you can bring it on down. Sometimes it doesn't line up the best. Just pull it out and redo it again. So you have it together. And that's what it's going to look like. There's your hole. You got a feeder tube hole somewhere in here. There you go. And you stick your straw or your tube or whatever. If you got a bigger tube, make a bigger hole. Fill it full of dirt. Um, this one here, I only filled it up to here because the tomato plant's small. And if you ever watch Praxis on video on uh, YouTube, yeah, his belief, and it does work, is that as the tomato grows, fill it up, that stem will make roots. So that's why I have it filled up that high. So you fill it up, or you put your straw in, your feeder tube, put your dirt in. When the dirt's all the way up, it's going to hold your feeder tube in place. And add your liquid. Girl came up with this micro funnel. And I filled mine up with a micro funnel. And as you can tell, it was at the bottom of this hole and it's wicked up that much liquid since then. So that's as easy as it is. Looks like it's going to work. 
I'll give you an update and let you know. Um, my version of an earth box or a global bucket. Any questions? Send me an email. Bye.